with housing costing so much money that people can't afford to buy a house with homeless people in the streets everywhere even in my little town i have homeless people on the streets living in tents downtown in toronto there is homeless people everywhere can't get to live anywhere because there's nowhere to put them what do you think should be the next strategy or the main thing that we should be hoping for with immigration you don't think it's going to be bring more people in do you well let's listen to mark miller that's what he thinks and he thinks bringing more people in will solve the crisis do you know what bringing more people in might do it might increase tent sales <laughs> and camping equipment so if you're going to bet on anything you're going to bet on camping equipment and tent sales especially with what these guys have got arranged for us let's have a listen i'm pleased to share that canada intends to maintain its target of welcoming 485,000 new permanent residents in 2024 and 500,000 in 2025. Hold on! Stop a minute! Stop! One minute! That's nearly a million people! <laughs> what? Huh? Starting in 2026, the number of newcomers we aim to welcome will stabilize at 500,000 allowing for a sustainable population growth. These immigration levels allow us to bring in the skills and talent we need to fill the labour gaps and ensure Canada's economic prosperities, help families reunite and remain a leader in refugee resettlement. I've got to say, I've never heard anybody speak so unconvincingly as Mark Miller has spoken in this speech. Our capacity uh, to accept, including uh, immigration that is having pressure on housing. This approach will lay the foundation for a more integrated planning and coordination as a country. While today's announcement is about permanent resident levels, uh, a whole of government approach also means taking a close look at temporary resident immigration and making sure they align with our capacity to ensure sustainable growth. This is something we'll be looking at more intensely going forward. He's definitely been briefed by somebody else. This isn't his idea, I'm sure of it. He can't be this incompetent. We've consulted widely on both the number of permanent residents in Canada uh, and the number that we should welcome and the balance between the categories of the newcomers. We look at perspectives and priorities of federal partners, regional representatives, indigenous community stakeholders, as well as the general public. These immigration levels will help set the pace of Canada's economic and population growth while moderating its impact on critical systems such as infrastructure and housing. Moderating the impact on infrastructure and housing. How the heck is bringing in a million people and 500,000 people every year going to moderate housing? <laughs> it's an oxymoron. I'm sorry. It, that, them numbers don't fit. That's new math. That doesn't work. It does not work. Sorry. Not work. It not. Nope. Not going to happen. Nope. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> Need an election. Till next time.